Congratulations in the case against Greg Kelly. On the eve of this child sexual assault trial in 2004, his defense attorney learned about rumors possibly implicating Kelly's best friend in the crime. That man is now considered a suspect three years later. Tony Polhetsky joins us now with the latest KVU Defenders Austin American Statesman exclusive. So Tony, what happened next? Well, Terry, very little. According to a court affidavit we just received from Kelly's attorney, she felt at the time that she had nothing to go on to chase down those rumors. So the trial began that Monday. A jury convicted Kelly and now he's serving 25 years in prison. The statement by Patricia Cummings said that she heard what she described as multi-layered hearsay that Jonathan McCarty had appeared had what appeared to be child pornography on his phone. Because of that, she added, quote, there was nothing to investigate based on this kind of unsubstantiated rumor. She went on to say, quote, I concluded that even if an investigation of the information was possible, it would not lead to the discovery of admissible evidence and any time spent on pursuing this type of 11 hour rumor would actually be counterproductive to my continued efforts to prepare for trial. Now, three years later and with Kelly serving a 25 year sentence, authorities have been pursuing that same information. Prosecutors have now named McCarty as a suspect, based in part on confessions that court documents say he made to friends. At the time, McCarty's mother operated an in-home daycare where a boy who was four says he was abused. Greg Kelly was staying at the home because his own parents were seriously ill at the time. So a big question now is whether Kelly's defense attorney handled this information the right way, whether she did all she could do for her client. Coming up at 10, hear what legal experts say when we ask them that question. Mike and Terry. All right. Thanks a lot.